We've talked okay. about extinct animals so many times. We've talked about bringing them back from the dead. We've done battle royales with extinct animals. You know, we've talked Jurassic Park and dinosaurs on this show. Well, this yep, is the yep, real yep. Jurassic Park, guys, and I'm not even remotely exaggerating that. There is a beautiful animal, a black-footed ferret. It's one of the rarest mammals in North America. I'm actually very lucky that I got to see one once in the wild. And yeah. the black-footed ferret, very, very cute. Will, hopefully you can pull up the picture. I have put it on my Instagram if you want to find it. Um, yeah, play that oh video. Boy. Oh, boy, this, is that cute. Isn't it? That's Elizabeth Ann. Isn't she adorable? Okay. Yes, ferrets right? are the cutest goddamn animal in the well, world. Well, Elizabeth Ann is the first ever cloned black-footed ferret. That animal really? was created from frozen cells of a ferret that died more than 30 years ago. Wow, that is, that's You are crazy. looking at science, my man. That is way, a cloned animal. Looks totally like, you know, you expect it to maybe not like look as good as it does. It looks perfect. It's it looks perfect. perfect. What did you yeah, think? It was going to come out with like mange and like. Well, she is cloned, covering the paws like... up and maybe it doesn't have paws or something. I don't know. But <laughs> you, you expect there to be like something wrong or they, they say, well, remember back in the day, and I don't want to dogleg it as you guys say too much, but they had Dolly the sheep that was. Uh, yeah, she that, lived that, like the, six minutes, right? Yeah, and then that's yeah, what I'm saying. Like, it, yeah. I feel, and that was the last I heard about cloning. <laughs> Right. Wait, so let me ask you this, Forrest. I don't know how much you know about it. Where did they find the... Was this species extinct? No, so not extinct. Okay. Critically, critically endangered. I don't know how low oh, the wow. numbers. But the San Diego Zoo had samples. I think it was the San Diego Zoo. It was done in collaboration with San Diego Zoo and U.S. Fish and Wildlife. And yeah. um, they're, they have a terribly hard time breeding them in captivity. I mean, they're just, they're just struggling. They're just disappearing. So, you know, 30 years later... This is a carbon copy of an animal that died, yeah, 30 years ago, you know, in, in 19, yeah. what would it be, 1990, you know, 1991. Dude, yeah. oh, my God, that was 30 That's years ago. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, and by the way, 30 years before that, 1960. Just right. saying. Yeah. Um, Ridiculous. That's, that's incredible that they're able to do this. Uh, that's so what do they do with this now? Do they try to clone more, or, like, was this just an experiment? Like, what's the reason to clone an animal that's not extinct? Well, that's a good question. I mean, one is because it's headed towards extinction, right? It's such a rare animal. They're not, they're not, it's like if we could have done this with the northern white rhino, we'd still have northern white rhino because we couldn't get them to breed. If we could do this with Raphidus, the giant soft shell turtle, we'd still have them, right? So that's, this is like prevention instead of reaction, which is great um, yeah. in the sense. Yeah. Now, now um, Elizabeth Ann will not be reintroduced into the wild. They've made that statement. She'll be kept in captivity, see how she, you know, be monitored so very closely. You know, this is a new thing. We don't really know what we're doing, so to speak. I mean, I certainly don't know what they're doing. But no, she won't be released into the wild. But genetic cloning in general, you know, it's a tool that can pave the way for conservation of of endangered and threatened species and possibly, you know, extinct species uh, because it, it'll supplement traditional and proven measures like habitat protection, protection or captive breeding, you know, disease control, invasive species management, whatever, because now we can literally create them. You know, we, yeah. we don't have to. Right. And I know that sounds very scary, and it is. It, it really is. We're playing God in a sense. But, like, instead of going into the Everglades, let's say, and fighting to try and hack out every single Burmese python because they're taking over the Everglades and some, you know, some small rodent in the Everglades is going to go extinct, we can just take that rodent and build a bunch of them in the fucking lab somewhere build and keep them. them in captivity. And then when the ever when when the pythons and this is a hypothetical, of course, have come through, wiped out everything, Easter Island them, them, themselves, and their population has collapsed, then we can take those cloned animals and re-release them back into the wild. Yeah, awesome. I mean, so the, that's the big trend now. I mean, Bill Gates just came out and said that uh, it's it's the the trend of everything going kind of lab lab grown. I mean, that's just, that's what's going to happen as we destroy the planet with our own natural bullshit. But let me ask you a question. Would you guys want to be cloned? Let's say 20 no. years from now, no. oh, 20 yeah. years from now, if, yeah. it, if it was perfected nope. and you're Easily. like, okay, like, yeah, after I you would, die, I'm saying, so you die naturally would, and you're like, I want another version of me to live again. I would, go, I would Patrick, take, go. I would, I would take a clone right now if they wanted to clone me. <laughs> If they said they wanted to build a million clones of me, I would let them do it now or after I'm dead. We've all seen multiplicity. <laughs> no, I, I'm no, not, dude, it's not good. They get dumber and dumber. 
<laughs> Multiplicity. I love that every you know, we've all seen it. No one has ever it. seen that movie. I've never. Even Are heard you of it. kidding me? What? Never even Michael heard of it, Keaton. I swear. Mouth. Listen, I it's Keaton not is. the best movie in the world. It's probably not even top one million. But <laughs> I, I we've will all say seen Wales of I August. I mean, we've all watched that. <laughs> what are you talking about? Relax. Stop being so angry. Jesus, why are you so you? mad? This is why you're the mad monkey in the fucking logo, dude. And I always tag you as the mad monkey because you're angry. <laughs> Relax. I just okay. hate your bullshit, man. I mean, you're one of my best friends. I love you very much. I just... Multiplicity. I don't like the way that you trailed off when you said you after love. I want you to say it again slower and whisper it, please. I'll call you after and I'll say it slowly.